Anthony what a round out there. It was going really well until Hazy jumped on and gave you a moz. Yeah, that's right. He gave me the moz. He told me what a moz was. So, um, yeah, everything was going pretty cruisy. And then I saw I saw him and I just, yeah, you know, I just I couldn't keep it going. And I told him he shouldn't have come out and he kept coming out. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I was playing pretty nicely and just misjudged the wind a little bit for my second shot and just pulled it a little bit and um, ended up in a pretty ordinary position and backed it up by another mistake. But apart from that, it was still a pretty solid round and finished pretty nicely. Can you talk us through the highlight of the day? Um, highlight would probably be my eagle on 18. Hit a really good tee shot and then a four iron into about 30 feet and hold it for eagle. Did you, did you let your mind wander at some stage to what might end up being? Only when you came over, Hazy. <laughs> Apart from that, not really. I was, I was pretty good out there. I actually felt really comfortable. I've got um, Scott Bent on the bag this week. He's trialling before I head up to Japan and play up there. He's caddied up there for a few years. So um, he helped heaps out there, actually. It was, it was good to have a professional caddy on the bag. And um, I don't know, I, I, didn't, I didn't really know what I was um, at the time and felt pretty comfortable. And yeah, he did a great job. So it was pretty good. Okay, big. Sorry. I was going to say, you've got a big few weeks coming up, but also a big year. Does this round give you a lot of confidence? Yeah, I think, um, I feel like I've had a few pretty pretty re like solid rounds in, in big events now, and big moments, so um, I think it, it just keeps reiterating to myself that I can play well in those situations and in pretty good fields, and um, yeah, it, you take confidence from it every time you can shoot that sort of score, and you can get that low throughout the round, so. Everything's coming up quail at the moment, I'm going to say. Like you've got your card, you've got a ring on someone's finger. Yeah, yeah. Walk us through what's going on in your world. Yeah, so um, after a nice Aussie Open, I went up to Japan Tour School and finished fourth at finals. And, uh, and then I went to Bali with my girlfriend and proposed. So we got engaged in Bali, um, which was awesome. It was really, really good. Um, Still, to be honest, it was a pretty well win a couple of weeks. So I'm still wrapping my head around it at the moment. And um, yeah, it's just been awesome. Um, everything's been really good. I don't really have any complaints in golf or in life right now. I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. Hazy wasn't in Bali. Back to a bit more <laughs> <laughs> She might have said no if Hazy <laughs> rocked up. <laughs> when you're going along like you were today and you hit a submerge like that, yeah. a log like that, if you get the double out of nowhere when you really how do you sort of come back and finish off the round without letting that leak into another yeah yeah so that that's something that I guess I've learned um, just over time you don't want to make one bad mistake compound into more mistakes so as much as you want to get frustrated after making a mistake like that and then putting a pretty serious dent in your round you need to try and get over it and um, I feel like I did a pretty good job of that stepped up and did a pretty good shot on seven um, didn't quite get as close as I wanted didn't quite hold the putt and then I played eight and nine well as well so I, I couldn't have done anything else really it does making a mistake like that does just seem to kill momentum so you can play solid and you know a putt that might just drop might just miss as a result and it just kills the momentum when you're going as good as you were a double feels like a triple doesn't it, really? it does yeah it does yeah it doesn't it, because you just don't you know it, you're just not making any bogeys or anything so the double bogey feels like a, a series of pretty big mistakes but it is what it is and it's going to happen so that's the past what about the future two days to go what does anthony quayle do from here yeah, so I guess I have to keep doing the same stuff I've been the next couple of days. Um, I've put myself in this position a few times last year on the Aussie Tour and then I feel like with the help of Scotty this week, I think we can do some good stuff. So.